this is a blind watch here. I, I'll be completely honest with you. I am. I was curious when I saw this earlier, and we talked about. And I mispronounced his name. I've heard two different clips now that are confirming how to say his name, Vivek Ramaswamy. Which, because if you haven't seen, and I, I maybe I should pull it up, Vivek Ramaswamy is a rapper, but he's also running. <laughs> he's also running for president, as we talked about last week for the Republican nomination. He rapped and said that his name is Vivek. It rhymes with cake. So that's why I know how to say his name now. And that's a good way of putting it. But here is Republican candidate Vivek Ramaswamy talking about this indictment. Here for me, if not bottom, the truth of the matter here. And well, the answer Vivek, is this is a politicized persecution. Yeah, Vivek, uh, I don't think the American people are going to know the truth unless there's a change in leadership. I mean, Republicans are, are staking the future on these investigations, and we're learning a lot, which is fantastic. That's right. The, the, the investigations, of course, here being uh, uh, I only know this because I know exactly Laura Ingram's thought process are the Biden crime family, which has had multiple hearings over the last couple of days. Remember when the alien hearing happened, they were saying, they're covering up the Hunter Biden laptop, the Biden crime family. Did you know that in 2015, Biden was calling his son Hunter Biden a lot? That's the that that was the hearings. And just so you understand, in 2015, Joe Biden's other son, Bo, died. So he was ta- he was it is well reported that he was calling his son, his other son, Hunter. And Hunter was calling him frequently after and around leading up to the death from cancer of Bo Biden. That's the hearings that Laura Ingram and other Republicans are alluding to and hinting at. That's what's so important. The Biden crime family, which went after Burisma. Remember. What they're alleging of Joe Biden doesn't even make sense. Joe Biden pressured uh, them to get rid of somebody that was favorable to Burisma, a prosecutor. Then. Hunter Biden is put on the board of directors or whatever the equivalent of it is. And that is not that is like. That is like, I don't even know how to I don't even know how to make a metaphor for this. It would be it's like. It's like taking a baseball game where, you know, the umpires only call in strikes for your pitcher. Taking that umpire out of the game, replacing him with a neutral or even potentially an oppositional umpire, and then putting your son into pitch. Even though you know that the first umpire would have called every everything that he pitched a strike. You know that it was more beneficial to you or your son monetarily to have the first person in there. There is no evidence. The whistleblower that they're talking about in this case doesn't exist, or if he does exist, they haven't heard from him in three years. And that's not a lie. That is not a joke. They literally cannot find him, which then they're going to say, well, that's because Joe Biden uh, got to him. No, like he is out there. They know he's out there. He's just not talking to them because he's, (laughs) he's not cooperating with them for whatever reason. Jim Comer, who says that they that they have tapes of the Biden family doing X, Y, and Z. They never heard them. They don't know if they're valid. They don't know if they're legitimate, but they were told that they exist, so they have to be real. It's like saying, oh, the tooth fairy is real, because guess what? I got money under my pillow as a kid when I lost a tooth. Has to be real. And that's actually more evidence that there is more evidence that the tooth fairy is real than what the Republicans are proposing about the Trump. I mean, the Biden family in Congress right now. I'm not even joking about that. If like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to dwell on this so much, but if there was something going on with Biden's family, the Hunter Biden, which, by the way, the Hunter, like we talked about this in the past, Hunter Biden 
had a plea deal for what he had done wrong. Go after him for that. If Joe Biden did have all these, like all this crime, go after him for it. We don't care. I mean, at least I don't care. I think that everybody should be held to the same standard of the law. We're not asking for special presentation or special treatment. I'm not asking for special treatment for myself, for Joe Biden, for Hunter Biden, for any Democrat. Under the law, we should all be equal. But you got to beat them at the polls. And that means Pokemon go to the polls. Early voting, ballot harvesting, a 50 state campaign. By the way, ballot harvesting is not legal in a lot of states, specifically in Pennsylvania. Ballot harvesting is not legal. The overemphasis of ballot harvesting as a loss in states that no Republican was winning anyway, first of all. But even honestly, like I I don't see the I personally don't see the illegitimacy of ballot harvesting in some cases. I could be can, can you know swayed the other way. I'm not dead set in my beliefs on that. But the overemphasis of ballot harvesting is a problem. No, I mean, like more people vote in, in person than they do by mail. And they claim in Republicans claim in Pennsylvania that Act 77, which created mail in ballots here for no like no no reason, mail in ballots. Basically, you don't have to be out of the state. You don't have to be out of the country. They Republicans created that law and then be, and then it was signed by a Democrat. And then afterwards, they claim it's fraudulent, even though all of them won their elections. It's fraudulent for Trump. The Republicans like walloped the Democrats in the state House and state Senate in 2020. And yet somehow. Hmm. It's rigged for Democrats because Democrats would only rig an election. For Biden, they wouldn't rig an election if they were good because they would get caught. They wouldn't do it for the Senate or. Congress or the state house or the state Senate or their local, uh, their local county position or their local township position or their mayor's position. Like it is so logically fallacious to even suggest that Democrats are rigging elections. It is just bonkers. And getting um, more minority voters, that multi-ethnic coalition that you've talked about, that's where it's. That last part's actually true. The Republican Party actually does need to diversify itself. Um, of course, Laura Ingram's a white uh, nationalist. But um, besides that point, uh, th that actually is a real uh, that if they want to win, they actually do have to build a diverse uh, support base. That that's how you drain the swamp. The investigations, I, everyone knows Biden's a crook now, and they apparently don't care. Do they? Care. A lot of exactly. people don't care. And that's why this has to be a landslide, 1980 Reagan-style landslide, Laura. That's why I'm in this race. We're going to have to bring young people along with us. That will make the difference between a razor-thin election and a landslide moral mandate. He says bring young people with us, but every Republican candidate wants to cut Social Security for young people. None of them are supporting any sort of environmental reforms. None of them are supporting student loan forgiveness. None of them are supporting Medicare for all. None of them are supporting anything that young people support. And if I am elected, you have my pledge, Laura, that we will open this kimono up, roll that log over, <laughs> see what crawls out from the Jeffrey Epstein client list to what's happened in these cases. We the Jeffrey Epstein client list, by the way, like I know that like people on both sides want to see this stuff and it's it should be that's something that I believe like probably should be out there in public. But also like if that's your main priority, like that's the one thing he just listed as a priority running for president. That's your main priority. You're kind of a clown. He the public can handle the truth. It's not like you can't handle the truth. No, we can handle the truth. Yeah, you should stop lying then. Vivek, There's no you know, such thing as a noble lie. The public deserves to know. So there you have that. That's their response to. That's the response to the Trump indictment. It's just say, but Biden, but Biden. Vivek rhymes with cake.